Hello drone lovers, KM here. Welcome to my channel. I've been haven't been flying for some time, so a lot of my time is I just took my quad out and did, did some modifications here and there. So one of the modifications I did to all this quad is uh, resolder the pads uh, of my GPS and my receiver to the uh, three three volt pad and the four point five volt pad. You know that the GPS I'm using is the Paytian BN220. This uh, GPS is capable of powering up with a 3.3 volts. So I use that pad, 3.3 volts pad of my flight controller. And then my receiver is a normal FreeSky uh, R9, which is uh, also able to power up with a, a 4.5 volt pad. And why I do this? Because um, the 3 volt, 3.3 volt and 4.5 volt pads on the flight controller are usually powered up by the USB. So you do not need to plug in the battery to uh, activate your GPS to search for the satellites and also in, to test your receiver in beta flight. You can just plug in the USB directly from the, to the computer and your receiver will be automatically powered on and you can see the sticks of your controller so that's what I did all the quads are now modified with this configuration and important thing is now I have uh, four quads but I need to do some GPS tracking uh, I mean basically just to get the number of satellites up to uh, about eight then I can start flying okay without further ado let's try taking one of the quads up in the air but before I do that, before I do the uh, GPS rescue, I want to find the hover uh, position, the throttle position for a hover for all these four quads. And there is a video you can see from uh, this side. Okay, you can see uh, on this side of the video that there is this uh, instruction how I determine the the hover position. But now with the WTFOS on my goggles, I can see the throttle position directly. So I do not need to refer to the throttle position of the controller anymore. Okay, without further ado, let's get on with it. Okay, I got my GPS lock. Well, I used the uh, USB plugging into beta flight on my phone. I could see about eight satellites. So now let's try and see if I see the satellites in the goggles with the new WTF. OS. Okay, let's see. Yes, I can see now. It's at 102, 1.2, 103. Okay, now let's go for a flight. Okay, I also Hello. put dynamic Engine. power for the off. Express RS. Flight mode idle up one. Barrio off. Barrio on. Arm. Okay. Sensor lost. Sensor lost. Hundred LQ hundred. Still at ten milliwatts. That's pretty bad, eh? How come it's still at ten milliwatts? Zero milliwatts. Two low LQ eighty nine percent. Sensor 
okay I don't even know what power I'm transmitting but dynamic power should vary the transmitter power sensor locked I hope it's locked into my SD card I can have a look at it later okay let's try the next squad okay we are doing GPS return to home and I just set everything already hopefully it works but I don't have confidence to put my starting point here so I'm going to start further in. Missed <laughs> a lot, huh? <laughs> Missed by a lot. <laughs> but at least it's coming back to around the same point. But it did it early on. It seems to throttle on its own, is it? Yeah, it's trying to punch out. Ah. I think that's the purpose of the alpha value. Okay. 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 Five, so it's not like boom, 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 boom. But that was good lah. It comes back. But quite far away. <laughs> <laughs> About 20 meters. Uh, 10 meters. Yeah. Away from the takeoff point. But good enough to bring your quad back safely lah. Yep. Huh? Okay. Okay. 